Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay everyone, we have Lenovo laptop here with problem cannot charging And I have checked the voltage at this battery port Here we have 19 volt at the battery port at the plus pin So I think this is caused by the broken MOSFET at the separator block of the motherboard so we need to open the the case of this laptop so we can access the main board and we can analyze what is the problem source of this laptop okay this is the motherboard or main board of this laptop and here we can see uh, this is the dc jack this is the battery port and here here the this is the battery MOSFET connecting the plus point of the battery to the fan line at this at this point okay let's check what is the condition of this MOSFET Okay, and this MOSFET is sorted between the S pin and the D pin, source pin, source pin, and the drain pin. So this because this point, <coughs> because this point, uh, when this motherboard connected to the charger or the or the power supply, this point get the voltage with value 19 volt and because this MOSFET sorted between uh, the sus pin and the drain pin so this point uh, that is connected directly to the DC jack at the plus point so the 19 volt at this point is uh, so this this connector this pin the plus pin of the battery port connected directly to the 19 volt because this MOSFET have sorted between this pin and this pin okay so we need to replace this MOSFET but of course we need to remove the this MOSFET first to check if it's really sorted or not because it could be a sort caused by another component okay let's remove this MOSFET this is MOSFET with model 4407 what is the kind of this MOSFET N channel or P channel you can find the data sheet of this MOSFET from the internet so we will now specification of this MOSFET voltage rating and current rating All right. can ensure the condition alright cool This is normal, I think. Oh, this is normal. Let's check other MOSFET. Okay, here. Here we can see the PVM. PWM. Pulse white modulation or or called or called SMPS and we can check this MOSFET this is working as the switching regulator to charging to charge the battery okay okay this is shorted but once again to ensure we 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 should 
we must to remove the MOSFET so we can ensure its condition okay remove again this is the MPS MOSFET working as the switching regular ball this is working during the charging process Check again. Whoa. Pin one, two, or three, and pin uh, five, six, seven, or eight. And this, uh, okay, this is sorted. <coughs> Sorted between the pin drain and pin source, and the model of this MOSFET is four four six six four four six six, and this is in the normal condition. The MOSFET with model four four zero seven. I will try again to explain you at the end of this video, right? Okay, we can install again, place holder the normal MOSFET. Okay, and now we need to find the MOSFET with model 4466. There is in the normal condition to replace this. Okay, now we have replaced the charging MOSFET. This is uh, the six, uh, the four four zero six MOSFET. <coughs> we are uh, replace this MOSFET and this MOSFET. So this both MOSFET uh, now using four four zero six MOSFET, and this is the the original MOSFET okay after this sure we need to check to test the condition of this motherboard Okay, the charging process is working properly. The le battery level is increased during charging process when plugged to the charger. So, at start at the start of the analysis, I took PQ8 was sorted because there was a sort detected between pin 1 and pin 5. But it turns out the ones the one sorted is this PQ11 MOSFET. The sort on either PQ8 or PQ11 causes the same issue, which is the 19 volt or 20 volt from B plus going directly to B plus which is the positive pin on the battery port i hope this is clear hope that makes sense uh, thank you for watching i hope this video will useful see you again in the next video wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh